Hello and welcome to Learn Linux TV. I am excited to finally bring you guys an entire series on Docker. This is my Docker Essential series and I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know when it comes to the basics of Docker, including but not limited to how to run containers, create images, and more. This video serves as more of an introduction and then we'll get into deeper and deeper concepts as we go along. And I can't wait to dive in and teach you guys Docker, but before I do, there's a few things about my channel that I'd like to mention, and then we'll get started. Thank you for checking out Learn Linux TV, your source for Linux-related fun and learning. And I just love making this content for you guys, but producing it isn't cheap. If you enjoy my content, please consider supporting my channel. And you can do so by visiting support.learnlinux.tv, where you can check out the official shop, become a patron, and find other ways to help. And among the perks for becoming a patron, you'll get access to select videos before the rest of the world. But even if you're not able to donate right now, no problem. You can support this channel simply by sharing this video with your colleagues, or even simply clicking the like button, which lets YouTube know that you want to see more awesome Linux content just like this. And if you're looking for something to read, well, I write books, and you can check out my books at learnlinux.tv slash books. If you want to suggest a topic for a future video, send your ideas to suggest at learnlinux.tv. Or if you notice that something is broken or not working right, then you can let me know by sending an email to fsck at learnlinux.tv. And with that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. So let's go through a quick outline where I'm going to show you what you can expect from each video in this series. First of all, video number one, which is this video. Welcome to the series. This series is going to be awesome. And this is a beginner series. I want to make that clear. And this is a shorter series. It's going to go over all of the Docker essentials, hence the name. But in this video, it's simply a welcome to the series and a quick outline. In the second video, I'm going to talk about what Docker is, why you might want to use it, as well as what makes Docker different than other solutions. In the third video, I'm going to walk you guys through installing Docker. I will show you how to install Docker on a Linux distribution, specifically Ubuntu, but that method is going to work for other distributions such as Debian, Linux Mint, and anything that's based on Debian or Ubuntu. And I will also show you the process of installing Docker on Windows 10, as well as Mac OS. In the fourth video, we're going to dive into running containers. We're going to run an example container, and we're going to actually see Docker in action. In the fifth video, we're going to look at how to make containers persist. As we'll get into later, when you close a container, when you exit it, the container is gone. But you'll probably want to have your containers running. You'll want to be able to make them persist, and that's exactly what we will talk about in video number five. In the sixth video, we're going to expose applications that are running inside our container to the rest of the network. After all, if you can't access the application that's running inside the container, then Docker is pretty much useless, isn't it? So in that video, I'm actually going to show you how to map a port on your host system to a port that's inside the container and allow that port to be accessed by everyone on your network. And then in the final video of the series, I'm going to show you how to create your very own Docker images. I'll show you how to not only do it the manual way, I will also show you how to build a Docker file as well. And video number seven is going to be especially fun. So with that out of the way, I hope you guys are just as excited to get started with Docker as I am to teach you. So go ahead and click on the next video in this series. It's already on YouTube. In fact, all of the videos in this series are already on YouTube, so click on the next video and I'll see you there.